Howdy, folks. Welcome to episode 12. And uh, here's our base that we're working on, and we're going to do some more work on that today. And I wanted to show you the little iron mine that I... Uh, little... The, the iron mine that I've got set up here. Now, this is actually part of this base over here. Uh, I ran a bunch of... Um, scaffolding over in order to set this up and then took it down so that it's not hanging across the, the landscape. So this is just to defend the mine um, in case anything goes on while I'm over here. And this is our size 16 iron vein as you can see. Um, I've got uh, some storage over here so I can keep food and everything else with me while I'm mining. And so that mine uh, should yield if, if I spend the time on it, which I probably won't even do, uh, it, sh it should yield um, about 11,000 ingots, which is more than enough. So, um, and I also built this little hovercraft, which I can get into. Built this little hovercraft for zipping around in the, in the uh, neighborhood here. Because um, I've got... Uh, um, I've got some water generators and oxygen generators just over that hill uh, behind us, just over that hill, and uh, it's easier just to take the ship than it is to walk. So we are going to do some construction today, and if you notice my inventory, I'm full of all kinds of stuff for building. So the first thing we want to do is I'm going to build another small vessel uh, whose purpose is to help to basically act as a scaffold uh, scaffolding mobile scaffolding um, and I also noticed if you watch you can use the run key on the elevators and you can go up and down faster and it uses your stamina but hey you're in your base who cares right so um, you can get up and down quite a bit faster um, doing that than you can just you know moseying up and down the elevator so I added a couple more floors that I need to populate, and um, until then, we'll just work on this. So here is the top floor at this point, and I've got um, some some structure that I'm going to add up here too. So we'll see what we can get done today. Uh, let's see. We're going to do the small vessel first. We'll get this going. So let's put our vessel block here and we'll get our cockpit here and we will put down some blocks around it just to keep it company these will be the blocks that we stand on so this will be helpful um, two three Okay, and I want to go from there. <clears throat> I want to go. Let's see, what is that? What does that leave me? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So, yeah, I want three blocks on each side. And I'm going to put these up here. Do I have it even? Yes. Okay. So now I'm going to put in, um, just since we're going to be screwing around building a lot and stuff, I'm going to put in um, some oxygen and all that jazz so that uh, if we're out here for a while and we start running low on oxygen, we don't have to go back inside the base to do that. And we'll get the RCS on here. And then we'll get the generator and the fuel tank. Okay, there's the RCS, we'll get the fuel tank here, why don't we do this, there, looks a little bit better, and the generator, I think we can stick the generator up on top, oh, there's space over here, that works, that works perfectly, okay, so the generator's there, now we just need our thrusters, uh, and we're going to put a cargo box on there too. 
and some landing gears. Okay, so we want to put, um, what was it, three? Two in each direction. So we're going to put two down thrusters, two, um, et cetera, et cetera. So we'll do this. Two down, we're going to do two facing forward. Um, and I'm going to bury these in here so that they're not... I want this platform to be flat. Why did I do this? Why didn't I build it around it, huh? Okay. So I'll need three. Four. I'll need four on each side. I'm tempted to use a minigun to remove these blocks. It'd be faster. <laughs> It'd be faster just to go mine more iron than it is to remove these blocks. Okay. Um, let's see which direction is that going. That's backwards. That's forward. That's out to the side. Okay. And we're going to put these blocks here. Any day now. And so um, the other thing that I noticed when I was toying around with this idea is that when you, um, if your ship isn't absolutely perfectly flat, it will drift very ever so slowly. And when it does, if you're standing on it, you will not drift. And so what happens is uh, the ship will actually drift out from underneath you if you're not very vigilant about it. Um, so the other thing uh, I'm going to do on here, whoops, wrong button. Um, the other thing I'm going to put on here is, oops, there we go, walkways. We're going to put these on. Did I do that? Yeah, I did. Okay. I need those little corner pieces. Okay. I guess I'll have to grab corner pieces. I don't remember if I brought those with me because I don't normally use those for this, for SVs. Okay. But this will keep from falling off. You can walk around on the scaffold and do whatever work you needed to get done. And it works beautifully. Okay, let me, let me do this. I don't want to put those in there. I want to put these in there. Okay, and... Um, I thought I might want to put some armor plates on the front just because there we go um, because a lot of times we're going to end up uh, pushing the front against something in order to sit against it so we'll put some oxygen in here and I need to put on the Oh, you know what? I still need the forward thrusters, too. Um, where did the cargo box? There's the cargo box. Okay. Cargo box can sit... How did blocks end up in there? That's really strange. Okay. I'm not sure how those blocks ended up there. Oh, those aren't blocks. They're thrusters. <laughs> Duh! Okay. <laughs> Good morning. Um, let's see, I want to put, I can do this. Um, I'll put my two thrusters, forward thrusters in my, um, thing here. Now I'm using the directional thrusters just because they sit flush and they're nice, uh, nice and easy. You know what, I do have forward thrusters, don't I? I have forward, I don't have upward is what I'm missing. I knew I'm missing something. I'm missing upward thrusters, so we'll put those there, and we'll put our cargo box here, and we just need to lift this up. Let me see if I have hull corner. I don't have hull corner blocks. I'll just chance it. Okay. Um, let's see if it'll. Yes. It will. Okay. So 
we're going to put our landing gears on, which are always backwards for some reason. Okay, and hopefully they won't be in the way there. And that should hopefully keep our core from uh, getting hit and smashed when we go up and down. So now we have a scaffold. It's pretty pretty primitive and simple but it works really well. Um, so we can go up, down, just make sure all my directions are working here. Back forward. Okay, we have all directions. We're good. Okay. Alright, so there's our ship and uh, I think we're gonna start on um, let's see. Yeah, why don't we start on some uh, decorations I'm gonna do here that I've got planned, and I'll show you what that's gonna be, what that's going to involve. Um, we'll get up here by this. Okay, so now I'm going to get out my blocks. I need these and I need these. Okay, and so I'm going to put, um, let's see, get these oriented correctly. That, and uh, let's see, what am I going to come out to and then go off one? And let's see. Um, on this end, it's going to go one past. Is that right? And this one is going to go to less. And let's see, this one's just going to be two on each end. Okay that and that. Now the one thing you do have to watch out for with this ship is that um, the SVs will uh, um, start falling I guess. They basically, I think it's a uh, fail-safe mechanism that they, um, they're designed to uh, whatchamacallit, they start dropping slowly. They'll slowly drop so that Okay, that's how I'm falling, okay. Um, they slowly drop so that if you accidentally fall out or whatever and they're up in the air, they don't become unreachable. Um, and so, because uh, who would do something like that, right? I would never do something like that. Okay, let's get a little bit closer. Don't be shy, wait, what? Uh, okay. Go across here and there, and let's see what do we have here. Um, this is still scary. <laughs> Three and this one. Whoops. It's gonna go there. Put two more blocks here. And I need the coloring tool as well to color all these. I just don't want to color my base while I'm doing this, the stuff that's already been colored. Oh, that scared me. Okay, um, let's get back in here and we'll go over here and color this. Okay. Come on, can I reach that one? Oh man, that's scary. There's no sneak on this thing. What did I just color? Okay. Apparently, I'm one block too far away. The other thing I gotta watch out for on this is I have to make sure <laughs> to make sure I don't let myself run out of fuel because that would be really stupid. Okay, 
You could even put bigger fuel tanks on it if you want to, so you don't have to screw around checking it all the time. Okay, and... You can go here. I need to go up a little bit higher. There. Okay. Alright, and I'm going to go here. And this is going to go all the way up. This one's going to come down two. Was it two on each end? Is it going to come out two or one? Let's see. That's going to go flat there. That's going to go there. Um, yeah. Two, three. Okay. This is going to be three blocks there. Okay. So we have that, and we have that, and that. And that's that. So I'm going to add this on each level as a decoration. And it probably doesn't make much sense right now, but if you see it from underneath, it looks a little nicer. Um, here, let's do this too. One more thing. We'll paint that. There. Okay. So, if we go down here, and you're looking up at the base, it's going to look like leaves coming out, so it's not just some ugly rectangles. So I'm going to go and do the rest of those, and I will be back.
Okay, folks, we're back, and uh, I hope you enjoyed the montage. Then it looks like it's done. I don't think I missed anything. So it looks kind of cool from when you're underneath it. It looks pretty nifty when you're underneath. And uh, I had to obviously do some adjustments for the uh, planting one because it was wider. But uh, And it looks kind of cool when you're above, looking down at it. So I think it's I think it's uh, coming along nicely, and I still got some uh, I have quite a bit of decoration to add to the top, uh, which will be I think we'll do that in the next episode because we're probably going to run out of time today. So um, join me next time for episode 13, and we'll do some more decoration, and uh, we'll see what's up with that thing over there. That's some kind of bug. I think it's it's part of this base that got copied over there or something. So I'll have to check that out. Uh, so join me for episode 13. We'll see you next time. Laters!